My name is Mark Mendez. I am the Vice President of Information Technology at Traypack. Traypack is a uh, global supply chain uh, cog, if you will. We do maritime container handling, uh, load and unload vessels, trains, and over-the-road trucks. In LA, we are fully automated, and I am uh, running both the enterprise IT as, and also the operations technology components. So originally we had uh, a smaller development team. This development team has to have special skill sets in different or various technologies of development. We had an offshore company assisting to some degree, uh, but we weren't seeing the benefits that we wanted. I had uh, been introduced to Marco at one point, and we discussed his pod methodology. What I liked about that, we are agile, we, we actually do scrum, and to have that kind of augmentation seemed to make sense. When we first implemented it, we gave uh, just some small tasks to see how it was handled and quickly realized how quickly uh, the projects would get completed with um, great quality. So it actually, the problem wasn't how quickly Arcus could move on these, on these projects. It was really, um, could we find enough, you know, PBIs or tasks to give to them. So it worked out really well and helped us to not only augment the development team during that time, but also after post COVID, we had problems obtaining developers with the right qualities. And, uh, Arcus was a different nearshore area that could find resources we needed. Primarily, communication was a, a problem with some of our other offshore. Uh, most of the developers and product managers did not speak uh, the languages, so we had to rely on one person. Um, in the nearshore, we were able to communicate much easier. Uh, all the people that assisted us, at least that we've worked with, have spoken English. And uh, in Southern California, it's much much easier to have individuals that speak Spanish as well. So if you wanted to speak in other languages, it was quite easy. The other benefit I would say would be time zones. Huge benefit. Um, with some of the other offshore solutions, we could lose days sometimes if there was a quality issue or um, a project that didn't quite get completed uh, as originally uh, specified. So I think those are two major reasons that Nearshore makes a lot of sense. So, so I guess the first um, suggestion I would make would be to look at what it is you're, you're actually requiring. Are you looking to augment a person or do you want to augment team. So the benefit to looking at something near shore uh, with, a, with agile pods, let's say, is you get the team that can handle um, any one of your tasks from beginning to end. When you bring in someone that is, you know, either half time or almost like a contract person, they're not invested as much and your management team has to use their time uh, with your QA, your product development, um, uh, and everything else required to get that, that task done, to quickly scale, utilizing something uh, in the form of a pod makes a lot of sense.